Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Breaking right now, a person of interest now in custody in connection with the arson at a home that collapsed, trapping a firefighter in the rubble. Off the top here at 5, word of the arrest comes about 28 hours after that terrifying rescue that unfolded on Detroit's east side. And all eight firefighters were injured, but the good news here, all of them are back home recovering with their families. Let's get right to our Sean Lay with this breaking information tonight. Sean. Let's get right to the information being confirmed to me by sources now at the five o'clock hour that that person of interest is indeed in custody for the fires here on the street and the fire right here behind me where those eight firefighters were injured, one of them trapped. I'm told this person is being held on multiple open warrants not related to the fires and an extensive warrant package for the fires and for this scene here behind me is being worked on as we speak. This on a day where new cadets officially joined the Detroit Fire Department. I want to say they're all doing well. Fewer than 24 hours after a heart stopping mayday. Mayday, 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 men down, men down. A house coming down on eight firefighters leading to an incredible rescue of one trapped firefighter. Today, smiles and hugs as a new crop of firefighters graduate. Next, we have Janelle Love, daughter of retired Lieutenant Rodney Brown. Did retired firefighter Rodney Brown always know his daughter, Janelle, wanted to follow in his firefighting boots? Actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> I always wanted to work in emergency services and give back to the community. But after yesterday, Janelle Love's mom is scared, but... I am so proud of her. Love's cousin also a Detroit firefighter. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, just uh, the start with me being in there and now having my cousin, somebody that is going to enjoy and, and embrace the fire department like I have, it's amazing. Fire Commissioner Chuck Sims has been commissioner for just six months yesterday. I remember those scenes. Was his most stressful day on the job. I did want to go in. Um, I did. I, I do have a set of gear in the car. This family of firefighters, they know the dangers all with the same life-saving training they rely on. Congratulations and Thank keep, you, up the, <laughs> keep up the tradition. Keep up the tradition and be safe. Let's get to this public Facebook post that Detroit firefighters are responding to big time tonight. It's from firefighter Paul Fillmore. He says he is the person who was rescued the, the firefighter trapped. He says, just a quick status update. First, I would like to say thank you to all people who've been checking in on me. As you know, I was involved in a structure collapse yesterday. I was released from the hospital at about 1130 last night. No broken bones or other serious injuries, just some significant aches and pains and a big shout out to to all my brothers and sisters on the fire department for getting me out of that mess. You guys are the best. Again, a person of interest in custody, but we can see ATF and Detroit uh, police investigators and fire investigators still on this street. I am told looking for others who may be involved in the fires. We're live on the east side tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back Incredible. to you. Incredible. Okay, Sean, thanks.